If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. What we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. Humans build too many walls and not enough bridges. Nature is pleased with simplicity, and nature is no dummy. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who set the planets in motion. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. And to every action there is always an equal and opposite or contrary reaction. This most beautiful system of sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true. No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. What goes up must come down. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention than to any other talent. You have to make the rules, not follow them. He who thinks half-heartedly will not believe in a creator. But he who really thinks has to believe. Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. I was asked how I discovered the law of gravity by thinking about it all the time.
to myself, I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. Whence arises all that order and beauty we see in the world? Plato is my friend. Aristotle is my friend. But my greatest friend is truth. The more time and devotion one spends in the worship of false gods, the less he is able to spin in that of the true one. They who search after the philosopher's stone are by their own rules obliged to a strict and religious life. For I see not what there is desirable in public esteem. Were I able to acquire and maintain it, it would perhaps increase my acquaintance, the thing which I chiefly study to decline. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after than to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. If I have done great things, it is because I was standing in the closet of smart men taking notes and then publishing their ideas as my own. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. Do not doubt the Creator, because it is inconceivable that accidents alone could be the controller of the universe. Inherent force of matter is the power of resisting by which everybody, so far as it is able, preserves in its state either of resting or of moving uniformly straightforward. Errors are not in the art, but in the artifice. for calculus can unlock new worlds. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. The moon gravitates towards the earth 
and by the force of gravity is continually drawn off from a rectilinear motion and retained in its orbit. The best and safest method of philosophizing seems to be first to inquire diligently into the properties of things and establishing those properties by experiments and then to proceed more slowly to hypotheses for the explanation of them. Atheism is senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the Earth at the right distance from the sun to receive proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. The proper method for inquiring after the properties of things is to deduce them from experiment. An object that is at rest will tend to remain at rest. An object that is in motion will tend to remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. My powers are ordinary. Only my application brings me success. The more I study science, I believe in God.